everybody. This is Mario Kaiba, here to screw the rolls. Hey, okay, not really roll screwing, but some big updates in the Vic Mignogna case and a lousy article did by everybody's favorite news source. That's not me news network. At first, Tug just tweeted about this big n Hey there, big news. The Vic Mignogna's case. Mediation ordered or the judge will rule by October 4th. Jump discusses threats and was stupid enough to do that. Don't. I'll be interested in one which kicked Vic Idiot's false flag in two. The courtroom courtesy created. Okay, I can't really do Tug's voice with an occasional hey there. But yeah. Let's get into it. On September 17th. Eleven days after the hearing, Chep called attorneys for both sides of the courtroom and ordered them to meet by the 3rd. Mediation is not successful. He told the lawyers he would rule in all outstanding orders the following day. Chep also handed out some of the threats of violence against him that was referred to him by Fort Worth Police Department after a sept Really, guys? Okay, I need to switch freaking things around. Now you can see me more clearly. Really? I'm wondering... Which one of you idiots thought it was a good idea to put violence against the judge? Even if you weren't violently threatening, you still shouldn't have threatened at all. Look at me in the eyes, peeps. Look at me in the eyes. I may screw the rules, but even I know that there's a... What do we call it? I'll just say that there's only a certain distance you can go. Threatening judges... I can't believe this. I am still horrified that some of I Stand With Vic even went that far. And a few kick Vic clowns with spoof accounts. Look. Anybody who's threatening the judge or threatened into the judge so far y'all should be ashamed of yourselves I mean seriously you ain't helping out Vic hell one email read hello I just wanted to let you know Judge Chep is a brain dead moron and I sincerely hope someone accuses him of a certain R word I can't use as four letters you are a cause of school shootings, suicide, um, um, self minecraftings, and hate and violence. Judge Chup let a group of open criminals go through shame on your kangaroo court. When people start uprising, hope your court is the first thing targeted. Ugh. One of the tweets included disillusion, strong reminder this leaves this barrel of a gun, and when a state fails to defend its citizens, it's only natural that the citizens take care of themselves. It'd be a justified minecrafting, and the person doing it can even get annulled for active minecrafting and found not guilty for minecrafting. I am not going to say those words on YouTube. I may not be monetized, but one day I might be. And I think this is from the freaking article. I'm going to like and retweet this real quick. Scrolling up. Ooh, Kalen Feather's going to be doing a Twitch account. How much you want to bet Sushi is going to want to do crossovers? Scrolling slowly because my computer's a boomer. Never mind. But yeah. Let's check out this news article here, which I am keeping my ad block on. Out of defiance for them, the Dallas Morning News. Latest anime's hashtag me too movement. Turner County Judge orders mediation and shares threats of violence and Vic Yana lawsuit. State jurisdiction chump ordered mediation. Tuesday in defamation lawsuit brought down on behalf of Amy voice actor and grapevine resident 
Vic Mignogna against his former employer to the Dallas area colleagues, fiance of one of the women. <sighs> Mignogna fails to produce settlement by 3rd of October. Chip told the lawyers he'll roll on all outstanding orders the following day. I, no, I don't want anything to do with the Dallas Ring News. You are not getting my ad revenue. Uh, yeah, pretty much what I just read off that Tug tweeted. Jeb called on both sets of attorneys to refrain from citing their supporters. Okay, we really, really going to need Nick to calm people down. Plus, they're freaking linked to their other article, which Vic didn't show up to the hearing, which he didn't have to. And if he did, it would have made no difference. Heck, for all we know, one of those KV psychos would have been across the street with a freaking sniper rifle. But yeah, it's pretty much talking about freaking Yana here. Long rumored appropriate behavior with women, which allegedly has included aggressive kisses, hugs, and wanted as she. Oh, come on! Sharon Grigsby, go back to journalism school. Look, when you put your political agenda heavily into an article, it's not news, it's propaganda. Same if you throw political agendas into movies. It becomes propaganda. News and entertainment, two different things. Well, guess what? You're doing propaganda. Look, I know it's going to pretty much be a short vid. And it'll be the last time I'm shilling the Teespring thing. But, I'm sorry. I can't believe people actually email Chup. This is Mario Kaiba. Screwing the rules because I have green hair. Peace. And a copy paste reminder because I'm going to be doing this at the end of every video. Right now at the RG07 Gaming and Novel Store, we have the Not Funny Collection, which is l lower price than most products because I went lower than default price, so I'm hardly making anything on it. But. Something I did not put in the description I'm announcing in this video. The All Know Where Us Secret Ointment Collection. All proceeds from the di between Tuesday the 10th and Tuesday the 17th. All proceeds from these shirts will be donated to Vic Mignogna's GoFundMe. On the front, we have my parody sign saying, Oh no, we're out of sacred ointment! And on the back, hashtag not funny. But yeah. All proceeds from the Oh no, we're out of sacred ointment collection will be donated... To Vic Mignogna's GoFundMe, but this only counts for ones bought between Tuesday, September 10th to Tuesday, September 17th. We have shirts. We have die-cut stickers that don't know what the actual size is. Tribbin tees. Comfort tees. Coffee mugs. V-neck tees. long sleeve shirts. And, of course, wife beaters in... Dedication to Mr. Toye, who cleans off that poor, poor casting couch for Chris Sabat. But yeah, Tuesday the 10th to Tuesday the 17th, proceeds, Vic Mignogna's GoFundMe. Thanks.